Hello everyone and welcome back. This week has been a busy one as I am racing against the approaching winter season. Our garden renovation can finally move forward now that we finally took out our dead tree. But first I need to finish the tedious cleanup of tree limbs from another tree we also trimmed up. I've been doing a lot of burning to help with the whole process and this comes with a lot of ash. A compost pile over time can be somewhat acidic and wood ash can actually offset this as it's naturally more alkaline. I won't be adding much more than this as again too much of one thing can always be bad but for the most part it's a great addition to the compost pile adding in nutrients such as potassium, phosphorus, iron, and calcium. If you live anywhere near farm country like I do, you've probably seen a field on fire a time or two, and that's farmers' intentional way of adding nutrients back into the soil and getting rid of any extra debris quickly. I once had a wine sales job that had me traveling through the countryside of Kansas weekly, and I would always stumble upon these controlled fires right before a spring plant. This process definitely seemed to be never ending as I only have this chiminea and I can't really burn otherwise because you really have to make sure you're doing things right in Kansas since it is windy here. You don't want to be burning on a super windy day, especially when things are dry. So this chiminea definitely helps with that whole process, but it definitely took a lot longer than it could if I just had a burn pile that I was able to burn. But now that that's all over with, the fun can begin. On Friday, I was determined to learn how to chop wood. After a few practice swings the other day, I really wasn't feeling too confident, but I watched a few YouTube videos and changed my stance, and I started to get the swing of things. I will admit, I was definitely scared to give this too much power this day, as one slip up could definitely hurt me, and I was actually home alone, so I decided just to stay as sturdy as possible to be safe. Some logs definitely gave me some help, and we get stuck to the point I couldn't get the axe out. This log in particular was one of them. I wanted to give up on this log so many times, but since I couldn't get the ax out, I just had to keep going. Funny how real life gives us such simple lessons. Sometimes you just have to keep giving that extra push when you already wanted to give up on something and then it finally happens. And only persistence is that one thing in between. It can be easy to be discouraged when things are harder than they seem initially, but when those moments happen, the feeling of accomplishment is always greater. I wanted to learn this skill while I had these resources at my fingertips. I know my husband and I would love to have a property one day with a lot of trees and we would want to harvest some of that wood for heat, which is actually what we plan to be doing here. Unfortunately, we were a little too late this year to get a wood burning stove installed, but we hope to have one installed by next winter. And in the meantime, this wood can lay out and dry out and then it'll be ready when we need to use it. Even on such a small piece of land, I really enjoy learning how to use my resources to the fullest. I find it really important so that one day when our skills are put to the test, we will be ready. I will definitely admit this was a lot harder than I expected and it was a killer workout. I don't think my triceps, back, or abs have been that sore since my bodybuilding days. Mm -hmm. 
Saturday morning, our friend Jesse came back to help us remove the rest of the tree stumps and the roots. Once he left, my husband and I actually just stared at our bulldog real fast because this was the first time in his 11 years he's actually dug. And you can see we were clearly proud parents. So after that though, we finally started to move the final garden beds into place. As always, nothing can be simple and we still needed to till up this area a small amount to make sure everything would lay level. The race is on to get these garden beds in place before the ground freezes for winter. I currently have five I need to get put together, but it's looking like two of them might have to wait until spring as we might need even more compost trucked in. You would think after having 16 cubic yards moved into this area this year we would have enough, but somehow you can never have enough compost. By the end of this, I will have 16 8x4 garden beds, a 28-foot trellis tunnel, a 10x20 in-ground space, and many planters to plant in come spring. Next year will be my largest garden to date, and I am really excited to see how much this space can crank out after all of this rearranging. Saturday, we stopped a little early as we ran into a problem we suspected we had. Grubs. We have an overabundance. We started to notice the signs at the beginning of the renovation, but it was very confirmed this weekend that it needs to get treated. I am going to be treating all of my grubs with beneficial nematodes. I have some coming in the mail this week. I will be doing two treatments over the next two weeks. Luckily enough, we are still having pretty mild winters and I should be able to go ahead and get this treated now and then come around if I need to do another round in spring, we can. But for the most part, the beneficial nematodes will overwinter and then they will continue in the spring. This is a beneficial method. It is a beneficial bug. It and every beneficial bug we have brought into our garden has done wonders. We had so many green lace wings this year and I'm sure we're going to continuously have them. They were amazing and really helped control a lot of the issues we had in previous years. To finish off the weekend, as we were moving some of the wood over to the side of our shed, my husband saw this little baby evergreen tree, so we decided to pot him up, and now he's living in our basement under grow lights for the winter season. It's been a really long few weeks of hard work, but I know here in just a few weeks, I will have roughly eight weeks away from this space, so I'm really enjoying every possible moment of it before the winter really kicks in. Thanks for watching today, guys. I'll see you all next week.